Tuesday afternoon at the Kingpins at Southeast 92nd and Powell. As you can see, it is buzzing with activity. It's uh, back to uh, pre-pandemic levels from 2019. Oh! Kingpin's co-owner John Tang says that's exciting to see. What he's not thrilled about are the needles and human waste, among other things, that he finds on and near his property. Tang believes it's coming from the nearby homeless camps. He's empathetic, but he's also worried about keeping his business afloat. We're not getting any support at all from the city. And it's frustrating because it kind of leaves us business owners on our own. Case in point, the Burgerville restaurant next to Kingpin's is closing temporarily. Management cites deteriorating conditions. They say Burgerville employees have found weapons, drug paraphernalia, and human waste on the property. Burgerville CEO Jill Taylor said in a statement, While it saddens me to temporarily close this Burgerville, I will always put the safety and security of our employees first. She goes on to say there is a humanitarian crisis happening throughout our region, and we need to come together around solutions. You know, we have as a community need to help and support those people. Mark Medina of the Burgerville Workers Union is concerned about what's happening around the fast food restaurant, but he wonders if that is really to blame for the temporary closure. In the list of top 10 things that workers uh, want to discuss and talk about, this does not reach, this has never been a main concern of anyone. It is a concern for John Tang of Kingpins. He's hoping for resolution sooner rather than later. We just need help and need a better humane way to take care of the homeless. It's inhumane to see the homeless out there in those camps. You may be wondering about the people who work here. We are told all of the employees at this Burgerville will be offered positions at nearby locations. Reporting in Southeast Portland, I'm Mike Benner for KGW News.